Thank you for kicking things off. Uh, we've got a powerhouse uh, intersection of media, technology, creator economy. It's just very, very exciting. Um, so I'm going to start in with introductions. I am Jyoti Balani. I'm founder and managing director of FreshRiver.ai. We're a consultancy where we help Fortune 100 with strategy and delivery of AI and data science solutions. Uh, so I'm going to start the introductions, and I'm not going to do justice, so I'm going to have each of them introduce themselves. Sean King. Uh, well, for those new to the room, I'm Sean King, so I'm the SVP and General Manager for the Commercial Division of Veritone. All right, Brent, Brent uh, Weinstein. Sorry about that. Hi, I'm, hello. Uh, I'm Brent Weinstein. I'm the Chief Development Officer at Candle Media, a next generation media company found by former Disney veterans Kevin Mayer and Tom Staggs in partnership with Blackstone. And Jim? And I'm Jim Terpstra, the VP of Corporate Development at Cameo, which entails a little bit of M&A, some partnerships, and driving some new initiatives like Cameo Kids. So excited to be here. We've spent countless hours with this group here, so um, it's going to be fun. Yeah, so, you know, I think technology and media have been intersecting in a big way, and everybody's heard about uh, AI, voice AI in particular. So with all the massive amounts of content being created, right, creators, creator economy is actually a phrase, you know, how are we going to scale, personalize, how are we going to take this? So I'm going to start off with Brent. Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, Candle was formed, you know, maybe 14, 15 months ago. And you know, here we are today, we've made 10 acquisitions, the biggest of which is a company called Moonbug, uh, which owns some pretty significant kids' properties that you may know if you have kids or nieces or nephews or neighbors, things like Coco Melon and Blippi. And what we realized was that not only did these things have unbelievable scale on digital media through long form platforms like Netflix, but as we moved that IP into different types of consumer experiences, live events, consumer products, video games, audio, that the audience followed, that they wanted more, they wanted more to engage with. And we were really thrilled when our friends at Cameo took what they have already built, which is such an extraordinary uh, uh, experience for people to connect with their favorite stars and really you know, a leading example of what's possible in the creator economy. And when they decided to uh, develop a dedicated kids focus because for us and you saw some of the reaction videos in that sizzle when you take JJ from Coco Melon or Blippi and uh, put them in a position where they're speaking directly to one of their fans calling them by their name calling out some of their experiences you know hi Jim Merry Christmas I heard you baked cookies last night with your parents the kids light their, their face just lights up and what we've heard from parents and, and, and other loved ones is that this cameo kids experience is like nothing they've seen before and it's become in many cases a daily part of their routine this one cameo kid video that they've created the kids insist on watching it every single day before they go to bed or every single day when they wake up and that's just heartwarming to us because even though we're pretty early it's a pretty good validation of the product market fit yeah i think that emotional intelligence side i think is really really important jim what do you think yeah, and you know, we're, we're in an age where whether it's our live talent or animated talent where there's a lot more access to that. You have social media, you know a lot more about who you follow. You have YouTube TV or YouTube kids and all these platforms. But what we do as a platform is really try to make that more meaningful, more personal. And as Brent said, that we've done a really good job of that, but we've now found that there's different ways to do it and reach the masses in the kids market. And we, over the past handful of months, have all put our heads together on how we best do that. And we've, we've found a way to do it through kids. And it, it is a magical experience. We refer to magical moments all the time. It is, is what our platform creates. And it's, it's really kind of powerful, the emotion that can be elicited by somebody who you know a lot about or somebody you follow saying something to you that is highly personal. And it motivates what we do every day. And it, it's, it's carried over into the kids space. And, and we're really excited about what, what we're building. The sense of responsibility is really amazing. Sean, from a tech standpoint, what, what do you think? I mean, again, the, the influence or the creator economy is how people are engaging with content today. And again, that ability to take it a step further, to personalize it, to even regionalize it, uh, localize it down to those areas. I mean, it's just, again, you know, to use your term, creating more magical moments. I mean, again, this is able to scale the augment, the, augment the, the job force to be able to create these opportunities. And it's, it's, it's an exciting thing to work on. 
So it's interesting, right? If you look at Disney, the, the major way of uh, creating magical moments, right? This is the next step up to it. Why is it important to do that regionalization, localization, personalization? Like, what's driving uh, that thought process, in your view? I, I can kick that one off. And, you know, our platform is about personalization. And what we see that it does, it's, it's again, people have access to... Uh, talent through social media or all these different, you know, IP characters in what, when we can create a more personal connection, like the, the reaction is people cry, they scream, they freeze up. It's, it's really kind of a powerful thing. And I think from a talent perspective and an IP perspective, it's a really positive way to connect in a stronger way. And from a fan perspective or a, a family or a child, it's a way that you know, they can really become a, a more of a super fan and more of a connection. And, and we're building this in a way where it can be much more a part of their lives, not a one time a year thing. It can be for holidays and birthdays and, and even routine occasions where it could be bedtime. And it's a good way to just weave these brands through you know, more areas of life than watching an iPad or you know, buying a toy or something like that in a highly personal way. And, and again, has, has been very positive and, 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 and powerful. So. I think I think you mentioned Disney, and for those that know me, there's probably not a bigger dyed in the wool Disney fan than me. I, I love going to the theme parks probably more than any of your kids. Uh, when you go to the theme park with a kid and you see the kid meet their favorite character, maybe it's Elsa from uh, you know, Frozen, um, the first thing Elsa says is, what's your name? And it, it's still a great experience for the kid. What we've built is something where Elsa, for better of an example, we don't have her on the platform yet, uh, already knows the name. You know, hey Jim, you know, I'm so happy to wish you a happy birthday. Hey Jim, uh, your mom tells me that, you know, it's time to start potty training. Hey Jim, uh, you know, uh, it's your first day of preschool. I think it's gonna be so much fun. And all these little moments where we can use kids' favorite characters to help them adapt, evolve, grow, uh, uh, compensate. Uh, we think that they're, uh, you know, cameos are, uh, a mission-driven company, uh, so are we. Uh, Moonbug, the company that owns these kids' properties, is incredibly mission-driven. Everything they do is about enriching kids and lives and education. And the joy that we can deliver, but also the help that we can provide kids and their families in getting them through these moments that we all go through as parents, uh, we think it's just an awesome opportunity. And it's also a big responsibility, and we take it very seriously. We take it very seriously when it comes to trust and safety and making sure that the platform uh, is a quality experience and that people get out of it, you know, what they want. And I love that example of Disney. It's that, it's nostalgia. It's that sense, I mean, you get to see that reaction from the child. I mean, when I see some of those, when I gave a few of these to my daughters, and so then I'm like, wow, I, I get a sense that, like, it takes me back then to be able to have that and getting to see that feeling to be able to uh, is share in that experience with them and then knowing that this is something to, you know, Brent's point, that can kind of help them through their development cycle I mean, it, again, it's, it's, it's an overwhelming, you know, I, I love it for pure sample of AI for good. I mean, this is AI and technology for good. Yeah, I, I remember seven years ago, we took our niece, uh, seven years at the time, to actually meet um, Elsa to Frozen. And she forever remembers that. I actually think you guys are doing something even bigger. Think about the inclusivity, right? Kids who cannot travel physically, right, to those spaces and how many more people you can get that to. So I'm going to shift now to the technology piece. Right? How do you imagine, from a technology standpoint, how this has been brought to life? What were you guys thinking when you thought through how are you going to um, meet that mission? Right. Well, it's a great question. And first, and again, it started with consent. I mean, it started with making sure that the Moonbug team and Candle Media were okay having this done, and that they vetted the right partners and making sure that, from a security, from a trust, that you know the stewardship of the likenesses of their characters are going to be treated, you know, appropriately and correctly and with the amount of respect and nurture that they have earned. I mean, Moonbug is one of the, I mean, if not, they're the biggest, you know, content creator for kids right now. And, you know, that's a, for us at Veritone, like, that is an incredibly powerful, like, stewardship opportunity for us that we really need to take incredibly seriously as we do for everyone. Uh, and it started with that. It's like, okay, well, if we're going to start, like, we have to start with consent. And then from Brent's team and, and going forward is getting then the, the actors and, and 
to come in and start recording and making sure they have the appropriate training data and that that's provided and that's safe, secure, and then allow that creation process. And that that part had just allowed us to collectively start to work together on, you know, step by step building these things together. Yeah, from us, the voice to the animation to there. Yeah, for us, uh, you know, the integrity of the intellectual property is paramount. Uh, we can't do anything that has any brand risk. Uh, and so we really came to trust both the Cameo team and the Veritone team to be partners in helping us bring this to life in a way that made us feel safe. But the thing we had to solve for was scale. Uh, so what Cameo has built is a really amazing system where an athlete, a celebrity, a musician, an influencer can, from their phone, record a video, push send, you know, you know collect their money. Uh, but we, at the scale that we envisioned to operate at, uh, couldn't do custom animation every single time. We couldn't get a voice actor in a booth every single time. So for us, it was this really important balance of respecting and cherishing the extraordinary talent that our creatives bring to the table. And it was starting there. So um, the people behind our biggest characters, whether it's JJ from Coco Melon or Blippi, they were intimately involved in this process. And it started there because without their talent, we're not anywhere. But then it's about taking that and using this technology to give it scale so that uh, we can operate and get to a point where we're delivering you know, a really high volume of these experiences to kids, hopefully all over the world, hopefully in a lot of languages. Uh, uh, but technology really is the only way for that to happen. Yeah, and uh, that's exactly right. Our, our standard Cameo product that the company was founded on, you know, we can do a lot of volume, but this one we needed to at some point know to do millions and millions of, of, of these possibly, you know, weekly or monthly. So it, it really took, you know, the innovative, innovative brands and technologies to, to pull that together because it's very similar on the front end. It's a message to a, a consumer with a name and it's personalized, but very, very different in the back end. The other kind of focus from Cameo's perspective that is going to help this evolve over time is that we did really want these things to be flexible and we wanted to be able to onboard characters over time seamlessly, efficiently. So, you know, we, we have built a platform that will allow us to not only do that through API layers, but, you know, also from how things are booked, we want to connect in with the veritones of the world to add a new occasion. You know, we, we have bedtime, let's add something else, or even for a bedtime to allow people to you know kind of chart your own course are we talking about toothbrushing potty training all these different things and we can build those in pretty seamlessly and, and, and fix them and update them but also is, is done in a way where it can be personalized and flexible but also still have from brand perspective control over the content and the personality which is important when you're in this space so um, we've put all that together and I think over the next year people are gonna see you know more characters and more creativity and, and we've, we've, we've started you know something that will allow us to, to really evolve and, and, and create a, a cool product. Yeah, I think coming in wearing the shoes of parents, right, we have to create an emotional, ethical, and economically safe framework, right, because, you know, money is is important, but you can't do it at the cost of, you know, of children especially, where it comes to children. So the inspiration, was there a specific inspiration that you guys had with this idea? Like, where did it start, the genesis of it? You know, for me, honestly, the inspiration was Cameo itself, what Stephen, the founder and CEO, and Jim and the rest of the leadership team, Dom, uh, you know, there, there's so many people from Cameo here. What they built, um, you know, I was, a, I was a talent agent for 20 years before I moved to Candle Media. We represented actors and we sat back and said, oh my goodness, they built this unbelievable marketplace where consumers can go directly to their stars, their favorite stars, and have this unbelievably personalized experience. And it was game changing. And, and I was inspired from it from day one. Uh, and then when, you know, they had the idea to, uh, provide that same experience to young kids, specifically on animated characters, it was a no-brainer for us. Yeah, from, from our standpoint, we you know, didn't have a dedicated focus on families and kids, but we still saw people creating these special moments for kids, whether it was athletes who they idolize or people have puppets or there's artists that do caricatures. There's a lot of different ways that it happens. So, you know, we did some tests with animated characters, which we knew would be perfect for the kids' market. And, you know, it was, you know, two things were kind of loud and clear that one, we saw those moments being created. And two, we heard from a lot of brands that, 
you know, this was filling a need that they wanted. They wanted a way to more, you know, personally connect with, with their audiences. And so we, we took those and decided to, to lean in. And, and after the testing, that's when, you know, we partnered up. And for the last handful of months, we, you know, had, had put together this product, which is now Cameo Kids. But the, the inspiration was, again, seeing, you know, the, the reactions we see from people using our platform, but seeing it in the form of a child also, you know, not believing that somebody just said their name. Did you already go? No, I mean, I, to echo on both of those things. I mean, for us, like, the, I get most excited about this because, you know, at times we're talking we're like, well, what's synthetic voice? What are you to do? It's like, this is something that, like, we, everyone at Veritone is up, can point to. And we could showcase and saying, like, look, like, AI is not scary. Look, AI actually creates, like, these amazing moments that you can have from that. And, it, you know, and leveraging great partners and having these great opportunities to be able to do that. I mean, it's it, it, that it's a lot. Of, it's a big sense of pride for our organization to be able to kind of show that. I, I love takeaways and challenges. Uh, this is a reasonable enough size room that I'll say this without regretting it. Uh, if you have preschool age kids in your life, I'll give you the Pepsi challenge. Like, go to Cameo Kids, get them a Cameo Kid, personalize it for them, and if they don't freak the f out and love it. You can contact me on LinkedIn and I will reimburse you your $30. Oh, you heard it right here. You heard, hopefully you're recording all of this. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that is an incredible challenge, by the way. I think uh, a competition is uh, probably going to ensue, right? So, okay, uh, a quick 30-second lightning round uh, predictions. Let's start with you. Uh, we are blessed to have, have been a part of Camo Kids launch, but my prediction is that by this time next year, there's going to be some additional extraordinary kids IP on the platform, and uh, our great content is going to live alongside some other pretty big kids franchises. That's the hope. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I think we're going to do a lot of really cool stuff this year. I think the you know, other general prediction I have is that it's what we're putting together is unique enough right now that I think as we you know, continue to push forward and it evolves, I think that whether it's on the Cameo side or some of our partner side, we're going to figure out that what we're putting together has other use cases too. I think there's going to be some extensions that we don't yet know what that is yet, but it could be really cool for, for brands and, 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 and all of our partners. And mine's going to be the interaction of these. You know, having these special moments and being able to do that and then be able to say, but wait, what about this? And actually being able to have a character or anything, be able to say, sure, what was that? What was your question? And be able to actually create a much richer experience. So, you know, going back to what your presentation was, where there's fear and a lack of awareness, I mean, if this is good for kids, we should be able to build on this to create safe spaces uh, from a technology standpoint for human beings. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Everybody, please round of applause. Thank you. Thank you.